Every year, 42 million women choose to have an abortion for all sorts of private reasons. But safe abortion is apparently a luxury, as 25 million of all abortions are unsafe. That is more than a half. These unsafe abortions are one of the most common reasons of injury and death among women. Actually, 47,000 women die annually, that is one woman every 11 minutes. The World Health Organization found out that in the countries where abortion laws are most restrictive and women have low rates of contraceptive use, induced abortion rates are higher overall and unsafe abortions pose a particular health risk for women. Women can decide to have an abortion for many, many, many reasons. Some for health or economic reasons, some were raped, and some just don't want to have any more children. Taking a decision like this, or any decision at all if you're more like me, is hard. It takes a lot of hardcore thinking and feeling, but once the decision is taken, that's usually it. Whether abortion is legal or illegal, once the woman decides what she wants, she's gonna try to get what she wants. Self-induced abortions are the abortions a woman does herself, or she does with the help of non-medical assistance. From lifting heavy weights, exposing herself to extreme temperatures, belly flopping onto a hard surface, or throwing herself down a flight of stairs. Some women use wire coat hanger in attempt to remove the fetus, or try to pierce the fetus using a knitting needle, crocket hook, hat pin, or a bobby pin. And if women do such horrible things to themselves, their message is pretty clear. They are determined, they know what they want. Currently, most of these horror stories are happening in the developing countries, but that doesn't mean all the women around us are safe when they decide to have an abortion. In Europe, most countries allow abortion on demand during the first trimester for whatever reason. But not all. Malta and Vatican don't allow the abortion under any circumstances, even when the pregnancy means the mother will definitely die. If the mother's life is in danger, Monaco, San Marino and Andorra will allow the abortion. UK, Finland and Iceland will not do it on demand, but will most likely do it if you come up with a good enough reason. Poland and Liechtenstein also have some limitations. Ireland, on the other hand, a conservative country when it comes to this topic, changed this law this year. Before 2018, about 5,000 women traveled to the UK every year to get an abortion, while some, around 5,000 in five years, were inducing their abortion on their own with the help of Women on Web. Women on Web is a non-profit online abortion service based in the Netherlands that provides abortion pills in countries where abortion is illegal. They exist since 2005, and what they do is send you abortion pills by mail, and you can use them in the privacy of your own home. You actually use the same pills women get in countries where abortion is legal. This method is approved by the World Health Organization, and is proven to be effective in 95% of all cases. How does it work? Every woman is referred to a licensed doctor, and has to fill out an online questionnaire. If everything goes well, she will get her abortion pills delivered by post, and she will have to pay between 70 and 90 euros. In America, getting an abortion is legal, but it is becoming less and less accessible, while self-induced abortions can get you arrested and maybe even lead you straight to prison, like this woman in Tennessee who spent a year in jail for self-induced miscarriage. For 13 years, women on web stayed away from the US. They figured it's better to focus on the women who live in the countries where abortion is illegal than dealing with the American system. But as getting a safe abortion in America is becoming harder and harder, since 2018, women in America can also get their abortion pills delivered in their mailbox. In six months, about 600 women bought the pills. Of course, these women on web, or aid access as it's called in America, aren't the only pills you can buy online, but they are for sure safe and approved by the World Health Organization. For the other pills, it can be hard to know the whole truth, and this can lead to some serious complications. In 14 developing countries where unsafe abortion is prevalent, 40% of women who have an abortion develop complications that require medical attention. And of course, it's not just with the pills. Desperate women who cannot do what they want in a safe and legal way can use some drastic methods. 
Current medical procedures, on the other hand, whether this means pills or surgery, are significantly safer than any traditional at-home methods. Actually, they're even safer than childbirth. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you want to share anything on this topic, don't forget to leave us a comment, like the video and share it so more people can learn with us. Subscribe to this channel to not miss our next video and see you then. Bye bye.